of Crowns and Legends is an epic fantasy novel about the children of King Arthur from the magical mind of debut novelist Chelsea Banning. I started working on this, I think my sophomore or junior year of high school. So, and I'm 33 now. So it's, it's been a while. <laughs> so Chelsea was expecting an equally epic turnout for her first ever book signing at a bookstore outside of Cleveland, Ohio. Instead, only two people showed up. My therapist always gave me the advice of, you know, let yourself feel those feelings. I couldn't find my journal, so I was like, well, you know, nobody's on my Twitter. No one's going to see this. <laughs> so on Sunday morning, Chelsea posted this. Only two people came to my author signing yesterday, so I was pretty bummed about it, especially as 37 people responded going to the event. Kind of upset, honestly, and a little embarrassed. That tweet taking off. Even Stephen King replying. At my first Salem's Lot signing, I had one customer, a fat kid who said, hey bud, do you know where there's some Nazi books? And Margaret Atwood, author of The Handmaid's Tale, saying to Chelsea, join the club. I did a signing to which nobody came, except a guy who wanted to buy some scotch tape and thought I was the help. My favorite book in the world is The Great Believers by Rebecca Mackay, who's one of the authors who responded to yeah. you. I yeah. mean, Seeing these titans of the industry weigh in and give you some support, what does that make you feel like? Inc amazing. <laughs> this wielder of words left speechless. My favorite one so far who replied today was Flavor Flav. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. Yo, here to hype up your next signing. Meanwhile, Of Crowns and Legends is the number one bestseller in its genre on Amazon. And in this new chapter of Overnight Success, Chelsea, who works as a librarian for her day job, says it's really about the power of reading. If your book touches one person, then that's enough. You know, even if that person is a sibling or a family member or some someone random across the country. And if that person happens to be Margaret Atwood, that's... <laughs> right, <laughs> right, right. Chelsea tells us that Of Crowns and Legends is only part one of a trilogy and the library she works at is planning a book signing of its own. TBD, if Flava Flav is going to be there to hype up the crowd, though. Will Gans, ABC News, New York.